What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the next installment of Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. As promised, I'm going to replay Kirov Park Meeting, but show off an alternative strategy. And if you're going back into it from your save point, all you need is the anesthetic. You can go ahead and skip the cutscene if you want to, it'll spare you a couple of seconds. We still have to go to the supply drop to get supplies. But this time it's very important that we don't get caught. Because unlike the car bombs, which we can conceal, the sniper rifle we cannot conceal. And one advantage of this strategy is... You can take all the time you need. There's no rush. Unlike before where we had to rush in order to take out that limo driver. So just wait for him to go away. Go straight down to the sewer, don't worry, no one will see you. And here's our route through the sewer. It's quite a hike, but we'll get to it. Left. Across the bridge to the right. Might as well do it now, since we need to be over here anyway. The camera in this game is kind of weird. It likes to constantly zoom in and out like this. Or, well, in this case, I'm doing it myself, but anyways, to the right. But in this game, it can be pretty annoying. To the right across the bridge, and then to the left. And then the next right turn we see is gonna take us up where we need to go. All right, we can start, start climbing up. We gotta be careful though. Make sure the soldier is not the, over there, then you can get up, drop the rifle, and then very carefully um, position yourself right here. This is the tricky part. We have to take out this soldier non-lethally, but we do not have very much time to sneak up on him. The very instant you see him, start sneaking up behind him. Do not pull out your anesthetic until you are close to him. The very second that you're able to use it, press and hold that fire button. If by chance he does turn around, try to be too the right, which is, or try to be to hit to his right, because he turns to the left, I think. Regardless, once he's out, you can just drag him out of the way. Pick the sniper back up over here. and we'll get ourselves ready. Pick the lock. Climb to the top. And there's actually two vantage points you can use in this level. The other one is in the bell tower of a cathedral, 
Unfortunately, the problem with that vantage point is that there's only one way up. There's a stairwell that is the that is the only way up there, and if you take the shot from there, they're gonna storm that they're gonna storm up there quickly and you do not have enough time to vacate before they get there. So now we can wait for our targets to pop up, and then we can line up a single shot for a double kill. It can be a little tricky, but if you're not certain that you'll make the shot, just the safest thing is to just wait. But, there you go. Every blue moon, they might not line up, making it a lot harder to take the shot. But, 99% of the time they do. Just line up your shot and you can double kill them. Here we go. We got them. And there, I guess none of the soldiers are actually... All the soldiers in the park must be guarding the entrances because they, they're, they're never going to see the bodies. You can completely avoid any alerts if you do the mission this way. So now we just got to backtrack through the sewers and then we can calmly make our getaway. I actually prefer the car bomb strategy because... I really don't like taking out that soldier by the tower. It's really, really, really tricky. But if you're if you're really bad with the controls in this game, or you're just not used to doing things quickly yet, this strategy is probably the better one for you because you're not on any time constraint whatsoever. But. Like I said, I personally prefer the other one because I think it's a little more fail-proof because other than, other than taking out that limo driver, the rest of the mission is very downhill. With this one, taking out that soldier is so tricky and sometimes the, the sniper shot can be a little tricky to make, but only sometimes. Most of the time you'll be totally fine. So here's where we came in originally. We can climb right back up. And then our exit is right over there. <coughs> nice and subtle. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know why they gave us the sawn off again, but regardless, we did get Silent Assassin. And other than one shot fired, we almost got all zeros. Yeah, the other strategy is better for getting all zeros, but like I said, getting all zeros in this mission is tough because sometimes you'll get an alert after the car bombs go off, other times you won't. Whereas here, there'll never be an alert unless you do really bad, but you will have a shot fired. So that is the second way of doing this mission. In the next episode, we will officially move on to mission number four. But as for this mission, pick your preferred strategy, and you'll be all set. Next time, mission four, and I will see you then.